Welcome back everyone to Elite Dangerous and as you can see by the title we've got some awesome news today regarding the shield generator testing that we did last week so if you missed that go ahead and click it in the screen now or in the description and there's also going to be a load of other links in the description as well related to this video so um, something awesome happened and it was the fact that Frontier is actually replied to somebody else doing some testing regarding shields and they're actually changing what we found out so in the testing you know that we found out that actually upgrading your shield scales really nicely depending on shield to shield you know going downgrading your class scales really nicely and also upgrading your ratings in that class actually scales really nicely as well but then we tested pips to systems and it the scale didn't really work out so and the person who posted to the forums today actually posted this kind of graph which is a really nice graph so as you can see from 0 to 3 it does scale linearly like really kind of steady however when you get to the fourth pip the scale just goes off the chart and it doesn't scale as it as it as the as frontier actually planned so this fourth pip actually to systems increases the resistance of your shield by 150% almost um, in regards to zero pips whereas the third pip does about 37 38 no more than 40% um, resistance uh, increase so Remember that we, that's what we found last week, that um, increasing p or putting pips into the systems doesn't increase capacity, it increases resistance. It increases the strength of your shield and not capacity of your shield, like in Mega Jewels. It increases the resistance, which is why shield cell banks, when you deploy them, it doesn't change if you have a higher rate of shield. Oh, it doesn't, sorry, it doesn't change if you have a... Um, more pips into this more pips into systems it doesn't change how that shield cell bank work it still works fine because capacity hasn't changed when you put more pips into systems so yeah anyway this port this forum post was posted today and the testing we did last week didn't actually relate to um, this he didn't know that we'd done testing this last week so he's done this testing on his own posted it to forums and someone in the frontier dev team has actually gone and commented and saying that this is going to be changed basically um, they discussed it and this wasn't how it was meant to work it was meant to scale properly and it was meant to you know scale linearly um, so for instance from 0 to 1 will be 10% increase and then every every um, pip to the system would add 10% which is probably what it's going to be around hopefully anyway because the scaling at the moment even from 0 to 3 isn't as linear as it should be hopefully it's more like 10% every time and then it just scales really nicely because I believe that's how the engines work at the moment with every pip you put to with every pip you put to systems you get like a really nice linear scale with every single pip which is really good as well as boost recharge as well um, so yeah as well guys remember that system putting more pits to systems recharges the capacitor more to allow you to recharge your shield faster or to actually have your shield recharging a proper rate if you have no pips in your systems um, then your capacitors will decharge to zero and then you won't be able to recharge your shields at all so putting like two pips in systems is the recommended amount when you're trying to recharge your shields because it keeps your um, capacitor at the level where the it will eventually drain out and you'll have a fully recharged shield at the end of it but of course you're still going to need pips and systems to get your shield past the recharge state to 100% rate so remember that as well that's something that I didn't mention in the previous video that I thought was valuable here anyway so redditors and forum posters we've bloody done it and everyone who watched the video as well we've really successfully done this so the initial testing was with me and JDB Bell and then he went on I haven't really been involved this week with the formulas or anything to actually get any of this information so huge thanks to I think it's on this post these people People here um, you know me who me and um, Bell did the initial testing which you know it only started off really and then there's got all these other people here so huge thanks to everyone if anyone would like a link to a YouTube channel or their reddit then just tell me in the comments or just message me on YouTube or anything I don't mind putting you a link in the comment in the description of this video um, for credit or anything like that so all these people have helped out with this testing and especially the forum poster as well because it has been awesome it's gonna be changed it's gonna be done properly which is really good I know a few of you are gonna be like well why is, is it even like this in the first place? Well, with as many stats and the way the formula works for this, as you can see, this is a formula for actually working out shield capacity. Eventually, something is going to be not right with, with something in the game. And this is one of the few things that with actual statistics in the game doesn't work as well as it should have done. So pips of systems is now going to be worked and changed to a proper linear scale, which is going to be really good. Um, so that's the actual formula for working out shield capacity and this was then this was uploaded yesterday actually and this is what they actually found out from that and basically as you can see as I said earlier in the week 115 megajoules is the shield capacity of a viper which is 35 megajoules more than the cobra so yes guys we was right the viper is more, or does have more capacity than the Cobra in its shield department and even the 2A shield of a Viper beats out um, everything apart from the 4A Cobra Mark 3's shield generator so um, it's really good so yeah if you're wondering why these why these um, capacities actually scale like this it's because it directly relates to 
that stat that's shown on the ship on the shipyard screen when it shows you the shield generator stat um, or the shield capacity stat, I believe it's called. Um, it's actually that's actually telling you the truth. So it does say I think the vipers. It does say the viper has more shield um, like strength than the cobra um and as you can see in this testing it's actually found out to be true when you put in the formula and everything like that also it's found out that the python has the strongest shields in the game and it's going to take the most damage compared to the anaconda however the anaconda isn't too far behind in that regard um with things like that also there it's kind of related to the sh um, ship initial mass and everything else it's a really complicated formula that's the formula there if you want to try and work it out yourself but generally it's really really awesome what we've done here and we've helped out frontier develop the game a little bit more also guys um found out today that frontier has actually had a really successful holiday period for sales and everything and i think there's over 300,000 people with this game right now so hello to you and we're, we're hopefully going to get a really good game here and frontier are really good with actual updates over the christmas period of course has been like like a two week break for them so yes no updates for that period but after that we, we had an update yesterday straight away and it's going to be like that all the time now they're going to be updating daily hopefully and bringing those big patches every month hopefully wings this month is what i'm hoping for it'll be really awesome to get some good co-op and multiplayer features on the go um, and that's pretty much it of course the huge thanks to these guys here I'll link to all these things in the description this one's especially useful as well as finding out specific kind of mega jewel capacity of shields and remember remember what uh, remember what I said shield generating or when you buy a better shield it does actually scale properly so you're getting that little bit better shield all the time when you're pulling pips at the moment to systems it's scaling like this and 150% extra damage resistance compared to everything else is much better so at the moment it's like that however I'm sure there'll be an update this week probably or at least next week or uh, sorry at latest next week um, regarding this pips and it will hopefully change with systems and remember that engine um, pulling pips to engines and uh, what's the other one and weapons does scale properly i believe at the moment so that isn't going to be changing but that pips two systems will be changing um and yeah that's pretty much it hopefully this has been a really awesome thing tomorrow i'm going to be uploading some thruster testing hopefully that's going to scale all properly but generally i just want to test out what you actually get for upgrading your thruster so that's going to be uploaded tomorrow i'm going to do some testing tonight and tomorrow regarding that anyway guys thank you very much for watching this video hopefully you've enjoyed it and hopefully it's been a fun experience thank you very much for watching guys thanks to everyone and i'll see you all next time